Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission completion video. In front of you, you can see a very large Imperial Guard Inquisition force. Uh, this project has been completed by Ben and Jonas here at the studio. There's loads and loads of cool models in this commission. You've got loads of Forge World Death Corps of Krieg, which are the predominant parts of the force. Uh, loads of characters, some old school metal models as well, uh, they're sort of scattered throughout as well, some really nice classic models. I've uh, got some really cool Death Cult Assassins and Crusaders. So without further ado, we're gonna dive on in and have a look at this brilliant project. Stick around guys, it's going to get better. So first up in this army, uh, we're going to have a look at the HQs. Uh, to start off with, we'll look at Solomon Locke and his two retinue, uh, which are just right at the front here. So we'll pull Solomon Locke forward for you so you can have a look. Um, Solomon Locke's uh, an Inquisitor, obviously, with an Inquisitional force. Uh, loads and loads of detail on him, as you can see, all the sort of uh, filigree and writing on the edge of his uh, sort of shawl and cloak. Um, loads of different bits, got little war specs there. Purity seals and other bits and bobs that are all sprinkled around this model. You've got some scrolls just on his waist, all picked out, multiple highlighted, loads and loads of gold work and filigree and bits and bobs. Those are scratch work all on the back of his uh, robes here, which is just obviously to keep in keeping with the sort of like weathered and sort of uh, sort of battle worn look that we've gone for with this army, very sort of gritty and grimy as, as requested by the client. Uh, really nice sort of transitional blend there on the swords from a dark to bright silver, which is uh, just something nice to give it a real sheen and sort of uh, there's some nicks and scratches in the sword as well, it's very heavily used. Um, He's got some great sort of detail all on the armor panels on the, that you can see as well on the leg there, all picked out all the gold work. Uh, brilliant, brilliant model, really nice commanding authority of leading from the front pose you'd expect, uh, screaming as you can see there on the face, really sort of uh, sort of uh, menacing sort of look there where you can't see the whole of his face as well, which is quite cool. Uh, so that's Solomon Locke, uh, Inquisitor, and then you've got, he's got two really cool uh, sort of acolytes that go with him. You've got this kind of servitor, kind of esque character. Uh, just get that to focus for you guys. There, you, oh, there we go focus there we go <laughs> um, so as you can see really nice transitional sort of colors on all the different areas of the model on the sort of robe that he's got there he's got loads of sort of mechanical sort of bits sticking out of him the claw he's got this sort of mechanic kind of thing coming out of his other arm as well where he's got his arm replaced uh, you've got this really steampunk-esque kind of backpack as well which is cool with a, like a, a funnel and sort of smoke stack sticking out of it and then all the sort of cabling and stuff that goes into his face with the lenses and dials that we picked out on the front there all multiple highlighted all sort of picked out loads of contrast with real depth and character uh, and some nice sort of like a bit of weathering on the bottom there just to keep him in keeping with the base as well So that's one of the sort of acolytes and then the other little thing that goes with Solomon Locke is this cool little servitor Which we've got here uh, just to get that to focus and um, so loads of sort of the massive scroll on it uh, Loads of freehand sort of like little writing all across that all on the back as you can see as he's uh, scribbling away as it's floating along And um, you've got all the lenses little picked out you've got the gold work on the skull all the metal highlighting on all the areas of the metal work as well, all the rivets and little nuts and things and joints all picked out. Uh, so that's a cool little thing just to go with him uh, and uh, Solomon Locke and the retinue. Uh, other command unit in this force is the where the banner is, obviously, as you can see. And there's some really cool metal GW models in this unit uh, that we've put together. Uh, so I'll pull forward the first one, which is a really classic metal GW priest, as you can see here. Uh, some loads and loads of detail in this really old sculpt, really sort of aggressive, mean face on him as well. Um, picked out all the highlighting there all the sort of bridge and nose and temple different areas nice transition of color he's got like a shaved kind of head as well which is quite cool uh chainsaw has got a uh, load of scratch work all on it and then you've obviously got the inquisitional eye that he's uh, thrusting forward as he's uh, leading a charge or something um as you can see loads of detail work on the robe all picked out all the areas and all the folds as you can see there uh, you've got a nice sort of satchel on his back that's all got multiple highlighting on the scroll sticking out of it you've got a gun sort of uh, pouch there as well so a holster uh, it's all been detailed and highlighted all the buckle picked out a nice bell there that's been picked out around his neck as well Must be pretty heavy <laughs> and uh, yeah all over a very very nice model nice sort of big purity seal on his waist as well just on the sort of cord that he's got running around there and uh, another authoritative sort of leading figure for this army as you can see so that's a great model uh, the other metal model in this force uh, is the uh, sister hospitaller she basically goes with the command squad that we put her with and um You've got loads of uh, folds and all of the, sort of the garments that she's got on. You've got the sort of ab ablative armor as well that she's wearing, fairly in keeping with Sisters of Battle. Uh, you've got loads of detail work there on the sort of aspects of the fleur de lay. You've also got loads of folds and all the cloth work on the back, as you can see here, all multiple highlighted. Uh, obviously, really, really nice rebreather on as well. Something totally different. Really, really nice scale as well, model in keeping with the rest of the sort of the guardsmen. A little bit smaller as well, which is quite cool. And uh, yeah, really sort of edge highlighted on all the armor panels. All the fleur de lays are multiple highlighted from gold all the way up to silver, as you can see. Uh, just pick up the highest recesses so again really nice little dynamic character that goes with that unit um pull forward a couple of the other sort of 
kind of characters, but they're just like supportive characters for the command squad. So we'll pull forward this like acolyte here with loads of um, like sort of banners and scrolls and things. Uh, really nice sort of detail work. All the again, really steampunk, really nice and gritty as with this with, with this rest of this army. As you can see, there loads of sort of writing on all the scrolls, all the feathers picked out there on the banner top, all the metal work all picked out, the skulls all multiple highlighted with contrast in all the different areas of them. As you can see, uh, flesh work all done, multiple highlighting, the lenses and eyes and goggles all picked out, and uh, really interesting, different, unique character for for the squad as well which is really cool so that's him uh, pull forward a couple of the uh, other models in the units uh, we've got another acolyte here that goes with the death course of krieg command squads uh, loads of sort of mechadendrites and things super steampunk as you can see <laughs> which is really different um, and it's all been sort of done from brass and golds and loads of different highlighting on all different metal works just to really pick those areas out really sort of grimy sort of effects that we've done on there with oil washes and things uh, and as you can see the shore the other covering is all sort of dirty and sort of highlighted on the brightest points with loads of contrast as you'd expect uh, throughout on all the models in the areas so that's another one and then uh, another one of the models from the command squad from the death of Krieg is the sort of commander. I, I really, really like this model just because of the pose. He's drawing his last pistol, sort of like leading from the front there, which is really nice. Um, again, all the different areas of detail picked out, all the purity seals. You've got loads and loads of sort of uh, detail on the folds of the cloak. Really nice transition of color there from sort of grays through blacks, uh, reds as well through like pinkyish kind of highlights as well. Integrated with the base with the weathering powder, a little bit of weathering across the bottom, some, some slight, ever so slight scratching work as well done on there. And then you've got the really cool sort of armored ribcage front of his armor, uh, skull mask rebreather which is really cool and then uh, all the metal work to keep in touch some binoculars there as well we really sort of highlighted those on the brightest points to show they've been handled quite a lot and uh, yeah really lovely model as well so that's the commander um and then really other model in the unit that really obviously stands out is the uh, the banner bearer now the banner bearer is uh, the banner's been completed by jonas uh, he's obviously does loads and loads of banners and he's done quite a few obviously for us for a lot of our clients uh, we work very closely with him and uh, as you can see here this banner it does not disappoint inquisitional banner innocence proves nothing loads and loads of freehand all freehand completely custom banner that we offer with commissions uh, as you can see here a demonstration of sort of like the level of attention to detail and quality that we offer as a studio uh, you've got uh, emperor's grace written on there burn the heretic the inquisitional eye there's, there's really really loads of detail and weather at the bottom as well and what we've done is the dying uh, death corps of creed guardsman uh, we've sort of reposed the arm slightly and made him look like he's you know as he's dying or as he's crawling forward injured he's still wielding the banner and holding it aloft proud as anything uh, and that's really what we've done really nice sort of centerpiece model for the army and also for the command squad something a little bit different that you wouldn't normally typically see and uh, finished off with a really really nice free-handed custom banner as well so uh, so that's him as you can see there uh, put him back and then a couple of other units from that squad you've got a commissar which is one of the forge world death corps of creed commissars uh, as you see all the different areas picked out or highlighted uh, through multiple levels metal work really love the pose where he's drawing the sword as well something a totally different uh, really nice sort of commanding figure that you could you know use to lead your army or be a supportive character flowing sort of uh, cape there or part of the coke uh, with loads and loads of sort of contrast in all the raised areas and with sort of a little bit of weathering just on the bottom tight in with the bases with the rest of the other commanding models in this force uh, so yeah that's another one of the command figures from the army as you can see put it back we're going to be going and have a look at some of the other special models in the army now uh, you've got various other sort of special units that come with this force uh, and then we've obviously got troops and vehicles and then all the cavalry at the back coming up so stick around guys loads more to come Hey guys, so we're now going to look at the more specialist models within this uh, Inquisitional Army. So I'm going to pull forward a couple of the Death Cult Assassins, which you can see here on the left. Just get that to focus for you so you can have a look. And there we go. There we go. And uh, as you can see, loads of detail work straight away. All different areas, the aspects of the armor all highlighted. The suits there has all been highlighted in multiple areas. You've got all the gold work which has been done. You've got all the shoes have been individually picked out as well, as you can see. We've incorporated her to the base with a little bit of sort of dust work and weathering powder on the, uh, the bottom of the feet there. And uh, really picked out all the areas of detail, even the lens on her sort of half metallic sort of um, skull face, as you can see there. Really, really nice sort of detail on these models. Um, but one of my favourite, probably, of the specialist sort of uh, models. You can get them for uh, for Sisters of Battle as well, uh, which is really cool. Um, so that's one of the first poses. Pull forward the other one. Uh, there are two different sort of sculpts with this model. So as you can see here, same sort of attention to detail on all the areas of highlighting, all the intricate areas of the armour and the stretch suit as well. 
Um, alternated the colours is what Ben's done on these, just to really make them more distinguishable on the tabletop. So this one's got black armour and obviously a red suit, whereas the one before had uh, a black suit and red armour. Uh, but again, really intricate sort of dy dynamic sort of chasing sort of attacking pose, which you'd expect um, these girls move across the table pretty quick as well. Uh, so that's yeah, one of the other Death Cult Assassins. Um, now, probably next up, another really different and interesting model that actually comes. It's a Jakera Weaponsmith, uh, which I like apes, but in the sort of 40k sort of setting. And uh, as you can see here, uh, very different and dynamic compared to obviously what you'd expect within 40k. Um, multiple highlights in all the areas of the sort of uh, fur, from the sort of darker underside up to the sort of more brighter highlighted top, as you can see there. Picked out all the lenses and all the sort of uh, powered gems and sort of like lights that are on his sort of uh, suit thing that he's got on his back. And uh, yes, yeah, so that's one of the uh, Jakera Weaponsmiths. Pull forward another one for you to have a look at. Similar, same pose, uh, but we've done a few of these. The clients actually have three in their army. Um, really cool modeling game. Uh, go check them out online. There's lots of really cool fluff about them, which is really cool. And uh, I hope you like these guys. That's one of the Jakera Weaponsmiths. And then another uh, more close combat kind of um, model that you would see within uh, an Inquisitional Force, which is uh, some of the Crusaders, which are armed obviously with power weapons and storm shields. Again, as you can see here, picked out all the detail at work on all the different multiple highlights throughout all the different armor panels. As you can see, the sword, it's got a bit of a blue ethereal glaze on the bottom of the blade to show the powered effect. Nice transitional area of color. We've integrated it to the base with some sort of weathering powders, as you can see there. So it just really sort of shows that he's advancing and sort of been, it's been dragged through the dirt or, or ground, so to speak. Um, um, and then all the multiple highlights and all the metallic work there, as you can see, in all the areas of the robes and steel work on the armor panels and things like that. So that's one of the Crusaders. Pull forward another one. Really stout and sort of uh, defensive looking models, which are really cool. Uh, just get that to focus. Uh, again, same attention to detail and quality of work throughout on all the different areas of sort of the highlighting, the uh, the metal work, the gold, purity seals all there picked out, and then also a scripture on them as well. And again, on all the different areas of the uh, sort of armour and the sword and everything, all multiple highlighted to really make each area of the model stand out and come to life. So that's one of the other Crusaders. And then another close combat unit within the force, which uh, which I've always liked. It comes, you can get them for Sisters of Battle as well, uh, which is an Arco Flagellant, uh, which is a really different sort of crazy sort of creature that runs forward, kind of like a Servitor, but not. Runs forward, charges into combat, and, and, and beats the living hell out of things. Um, great, really cool model. Uh, all these models are, are metallic. Uh, they're, uh, they're all fine class models. Uh, and you can see that all the flesh work has all been picked out, multiple highlighted with loads of contrast and on the highlights. And you've got all of the um, sort of parchments have been picked out, again, scripture on all of those. Ben's done a really nice sort of purple sort of uh, purity seal on all these models as well. Just a, it's a nice accent colour, uh, so it makes that bit of the detail stand out and doesn't get lost within all the other areas of highlighting and detail work. Um, so a lot of metallic work done on these. You've got obviously the Inquisitional eye on the sort of covered face, as you can see there. Uh, so that's one of the Archeo Vagilants. Um, pull forward another one so you can have a look at them. Kind of different pose, uh, two sort of really different sort of arms on these as well. You can see you've got like a kind of spinning kind of cog thing at the end there, like cutter, and then you've got like this flail that's coming out the other arm. Uh, really, really cool, different steampunk kind of model. It's just very, very different as you can see there. So that's one of the Archeo flagellants, uh, and that's, uh, that's more of the uh, sort of special sort of troops that you have uh, we've had in this army, guys. So do hope you like those. Stick around. There's uh, quite a few different aspects coming up. We've got the cavalry at the back and the vehicles coming up soon, as well as all the infantry. Uh, so be back in a couple of seconds and. Uh, we'll dive on in those other areas. Hey guys, what Imperial Guard army wouldn't be complete without loads and loads of infantry and this Inquisitional Force does not disappoint in that area. There are 45, 46 infantry within this uh, force, there's a large amount of infantry. Uh, in front I have put out four squads of mixed weapons and loadouts just to really show you some of the different sort of models that come within the Death Corps of Krieg range which our client has used for this commission. Uh, so going to pull forward a few of them now. First one I want to pull forward is this really cool grenade launcher, um, something totally different and uh, a really sort of cool. Uh, looking weapon uh, reminds me of a kind of Terminator esque sort of breach loading. Um, sort of grenade launcher which is really cool um, as you can see loads of scratch work and chipping on sort of armor panels of all these models uh, Ben's gone in and done a load of detail work on them as you can see here this guardsman reaching back to pull a grenade from the sort of uh, rung that he's got here and then load it in obviously into the grenade launcher each one has got um, sort of extra additions like backpacks and things like that and sort of loads of different weapon options like little knives and things uh, that have been added just to really sort of add to the, to the sort of real warfare torn kind of look that they've got um, 
Again, with this inquisition colour scheme, got some really nice colours to work with. Obviously, the red and black and browns um, really flow nicely together, and loads of loads of areas of contrast and detail that have been done throughout. We've grinded them all up, all the sort of respirator cables and things, just to really sort of give it that really sort of gritty, dark vibe that you'd expect with sort of like an inquisitional force uh, and anything from the 40k universe, really. Uh, so there you go. As you can see, he's a really cool, cool model in the uh, Death Courts of Krieg range. That's one of him. Paul Ford, one of the flamers. So you can have a look at what a flamer looks like. Um, I really like this. I think it's a little bit different and uh, just it looks very grim which I think is cool. Um, he's got, again, we've added uh, some other like, hoppers and bits and bobs as per the client request. Um, all the additions to really sort of give them that sort of long-standing campaign kind of look. Uh, multiple highlighting on all the areas of metalwork, brass, detailing, faceplate, um, the skull masks, all the sort of... Uh, uh, areas of the sort of long coat that they're wearing as well. We've done all the sort of highlighting and, and contrasting the armor panels and all those areas as well, which is really nice. And again, dirtied up all the boots throughout this commission, so they're all sort of in keeping with the bases and give it that real sort of integration between the model and the base. Uh, as you can see, they're nice transitional color on the bottom of the long coat here, just so it shows where it's dirty at the bottom, which is really nice. Uh, so that's the flamethrower. Pull forward one of the many sergeants in this force. Um, there's different poses and things, but uh, we'll pull this guy forward so you can have a look at him. Uh, as you can see there, loads and loads of detail work again on all these models. It takes a lot of time to pick out all those bits. He's got a really cool sort of um, like sort of mine thing that's attached to him as well, so you can throw that at something. And uh, again, you can see some scratch work on the long coat just to show sort of nicks and sort of rips and tears in there in those sort of uh, coats that they've got. Um, really nice folds and stuff like this. There's loads and loads of detail on, on them as well, which is really nice. Uh, again, and there's sort of las pistols you can see they're really sort of like different sort of style las pistol which is nice to see chainsaws you can see all the areas of metal work picked out uh, again and uh, all the sort of areas of highlighting on the armor panels and sort of long coat are all done there as well. Uh, so that's one of the sergeants. Uh, and then pull forward a couple of normal line troopers, which is really cool. Uh, as you can see here, uh, get him to focus. Uh, you've got some loads and loads of attacking poses as well. They come in a variation of, of different sort of uh, stances as well. If you go on the Forge World website, you can see they actually come in different sort of looks and poses, uh, which is really cool. Um, added a backpack to him, as you can see there, a little knife. Um, use the extras kit just to really sort of uh, flush out all the models and just give them a little bit extra detail as well. So he's kind of aiming and, and sort of like moving forward, sort of advancing, which is really cool. So that's one of the troopers. Um, put forward another one of the normal troops, uh, as you can see here. Again, really love the uh, sort of skull sort of rebreather as well. Something totally different, very grim in keeping with the uh, the range and also the setting, uh, as you can see there. So loads and loads of detail, all picked out on these resin models. Um, lovely models to work on. It's been a great commission to have in the studio. Uh, put him back and then pull forward a couple of the uh, uh, assault weapons and heavy weapons. So one of the melter guns in this force. I put three melters in this unit just to make it look like a bit of a veteran squad. Um, so as you can see there, again, Really, really nice dynamic kind of look to the models. It's something totally different. You don't see a lot of uh, Imperial Guard that look very similar to this. Um, they're all predominantly Cadians or sort of other sort of the old metal ranges. So it's nice to see something in resin, just a totally different uh, with their own unique sort of weapon sets as well, which you can get from Forge Worlds. Uh, again, so those are detail work, all picked out, all metal work, and try to make them look as gritty and weathered as possible. So, so keep that Death Corpse of Krieg vibe, but obviously within the Inquisitional Force. Um, it's a nice colorway that the client has chosen for us to work on. So that's one of the uh, melter guns. Pour forward one of the uh, stub guns here, as you can see, or heavy stubbers, should I say. And again, picked that out there. So he's uh, aiming away and firing, as you'd expect, uh, while the rest of the troops are advancing. Uh, Propped it up there on a rock as well, so it's just got something stable to put it on. Um, it's all about sort of integration and model and the base, which is quite nice. And again, all the highlighting work on the robes and all the sort of long coat, all the sort of nicks and stuff in the armor panel, uh, weathering on the weapon, all the sort of highlighting and sort of streaks and stuff that we put on there and oil wash just to really dirty it up and give it that grim overall look. Uh, so that's one of the heavy stubbers. Um, and then pull forward maybe the plasma gun from the back here, so you can have a look at what a plasma gun looks like. Uh, again, done like a nice sort of like energized kind of look there on the uh, on the plasma gun. And uh, again, same sort of gubbins and things have all been added on, and uh, just to really sort of give them extra detail. Uh, really nice cool rebreather as you expect on all of these Death Corps of Krieg. And uh, that's one of the uh, the plasma gunners as you can see there. So that's him. Um, loads and loads of infantry, infantry as he said. So it's a, there's been a lot of models to actually complete in this commission. I do hope you like uh, all different aspects of the troops. And uh, coming up finally, within the last part of this video, are the, the Torox vehicles that you can see at the back, and also the really cool Death Riders and the Commissar on a Death Rider horse. Uh, so stick around, back in two secs, and uh, we'll be finishing up with those. 
So we're going to look at the last couple of pieces from this great Inquisitional Army commission that we've had in the studio. Uh, you've got in front of you some of my favourite parts from this army actually. You've got the, the Toroxes, all the transports for, for the majority of the squads, and then you've got these really cool Forge World Death Corps of Krieg, Death Riders, and also probably one of my favourite models from the Death Corps of Krieg range, which is the Mounted Commissar, uh, which starts us off quite well. So we'll dive on in and have a look at him. Um, now these horses are phenomenal. The, uh, the sculpts are brilliant and there's some really, really good detail to be picked out across the whole entire Death Rider range including this uh, mounted commissar as well as you can see here um, you, Ben's gone in and picked out all the muscular structure of these horses so they're really really defined and it's got like a very taut kind of look uh, which you'd expect to see on the horse if you look at horses in real life their skin is very very tight across them and uh, all the muscles can be you know defined and seen which is uh, which is what you can see here on these horses as well uh, the commissar's got loads of detail on himself obviously looking out there looking very commanding uh, looking for any sort of cowardism within the uh, the troops uh, as you expect looking very menacing on his on his mouth and uh, the mountain's obviously got a rebreather as well, which is obviously in keeping with the Death Corps of Krieg range, uh, which is a cool little fact. And uh, and then you've got all the detail, the pouches, the stirrups, um, the sort of the cloth which goes underneath the saddle, which is obviously on there. The attention to detail from the cast, uh, from the sculpting is, is brilliant. And, um, and then you've got all the metal work and rebreather, as you can see there. But uh, overall, really, really cool model. Something totally different for the uh, you know Imperial Guard range. And uh, if you collect Death Corps of Krieg, if you don't have this guy, then you should go and check him out because he's, uh, he's a great model. Um, really, really lovely model to work on. Uh, so that's the Commissar. And then we'll pull forward a few of the Death Riders for you to have a look at. Again, same sort of look to the Commissar's Steed, but obviously with a Death Rider uh, on top. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, these are obviously Rough Riders with the powered, uh, powered Power Lance or Power Spear. Uh, again, all the rebreathers. This horse is obviously a slightly greyer sort of tone. Um, not all the animals will obviously look the same, so we've gone for a bit of a lighter look on this uh, on this horse. Again, you've got all the muscles picked out, all the sort of areas of details on all the stirrups, uh, all the cloth, all the sort of rebreathing apparatus, the sword, the pennant, lovely little pennant there flying from the spear as well. And uh, you obviously got all the lenses and everything all picked out, which is really, really nice. Uh, so that's him. Uh, pull forward a few one or two more just so you can have a look at the different poses because there's quite a few uh you got one with a spear like, like sort of more lower down which is quite cool get that to focus and uh, again you've got all the details picked out all the multiple highlighting throughout the different areas of muscle on him all the sort of contrast on the sort of uh, on his long coat armor panels all the aquila there picked out on the chest the rebreather um, multiple areas of highlighting on the spear uh, sort of pennant as you can see there as well and uh, yeah every every detail is picked out so we don't you know there's no exceptions spent here we know we maintain consistency across all of the models throughout the force and uh, you get a very very tidy and well painted commission when you take one out with us uh, so that's one of the uh, other death riders you can see there and pull forward one more just for you to have a look at again very very similar same sort of effect has been achieved all over the, the, the different areas of detail and work all the lenses are picked out on the horse there as you can see and uh, again another really interesting cool little point is obviously this uh, this detail where the uh, the, the rebreathing cables actually go into the skin of the horse something a little bit different uh, you know obviously it's a set in the, in the distant future but that's uh, obviously something that's done to the horses so they can obviously have their rebreathers uh, and again obviously we picked out different areas of storage on this one in different colours just to really make each one a little bit different but still very very close in keeping with the force uh, so that's another one of the Death Riders uh, and then we'll move on now to have a look at the four Toroxes. So obviously with all the infantry that this army's got, it's got to have some transport to get around the battlefield. And the Torox being one of the new kits from uh, Games Workshop or newer kits transport wise for, for sort of Imperial Guards. Uh, clients gone for using a couple of these within his army. So we've uh, we've weathered it up. It's got a lot of sort of uh, mud and dirt and grime all around the bottom areas of the tank, as you can see there, to really show the in keeping with the rest of the bases in this commission. Um, the client has asked us to put obviously the uh, Death Corps Creed tank commanders in, so these are actually magnetized so they can just go onto the tops and snap on there. Um, this one's obviously got the battle cannon and uh, what we've done is we pinned all the weapons so that they can obviously be put replaced. Uh, some of the side guns do just clip straight on which is quite nice uh, and they do stay on very very well so uh, we've just done that and then obviously the rest of the guns you can see there's a pin there but it's just so you can pin the guns on and pin different bits on just to as and when required. Um, it gives the flexibility for in game as well. All the lenses all picked out there as you can see. A uh, little bit of rust work chipping all over the model just to really give it a lot of detail uh, and just sort of ask, pick out all the aspects of contrast. Use some of the uh, Forge World Inquisition brass etchings as well on some of these tanks just to really uh, sort of you know keep them in line with the rest of the uh, Inquisition Commission. And uh, yeah, lovely, lovely model, really different. And uh, as you can see, there all the areas of detail chipping and scratching has been done across all the models just to really give them that battle hardened look that you expect to see from a long fighting inquisitional force so that's one of the toroxes uh pull forward a couple of the other tank commanders you can see so this one's actually a commissar um another really really
really cool model and he just swivels around in the turret as well so you can change the way that he's looking which is quite cool uh, and again same consistency of detail work scratching chipping rust works all the sort of muddiness on the uh, on the tank as well as you can see there a little bit of heat bloom there on the end of the guns just to really give it that sort of you know, readily fired where it sort of looks like it looks like it's been in use uh, all the lenses and lights you can see across all the tanks all picked out and uh, again there you know same consistent neat really sort of battle hardened look that we've achieved on this commission really nice colorway as well the gray and the um, the ground the red it really looks really nice uh, so that's obviously the one there with the dual sort of punisher uh, which is quite cool so that's that one and we'll pull forward the last uh, one with a tank commander in it uh, so again, we've used the uh, Forge World Death Corps of Krieg tank commander set as per the client request. Again, uh, same consistency of work throughout. You know, we've really gone to town on all the areas of detail and chipping and weathering throughout on all the areas of the uh, of the tank. And uh, there you go, you've got auto cannon is just clipped on there. As you can see, we just clip these on. They go on really nicely, which is quite cool. So they just clip straight on, as you can see there, and they don't really move. So they stay on really nicely. Uh, so that's one of the other Toroxes with the tank commander here that just swivels round, magnetised in again, as you can see there. Uh, and that's one of the other one of the Toroxes. I won't pull the other one forward just because it's exactly the same but uh but yeah that's all the vehicles and everything from this commission and uh, we're going to finish up the video in a sec guys so thank you for some watching so far and stick around to the very end i hope you liked it so far thanks So thanks for watching the video guys, we really appreciate it a lot. It's been great working on this project, both Ben and Jonas love working on the aspects of what they've done within this commission. I've hoped you liked all the models and everything that have been shown in, in the video. It's Like I said, it's been a fantastic project. We really, you know, have had a, so much fun working on it. Uh, if you are interested in a commission, then what I'd say is please drop by our website, uh, www.siegestudios.co.uk. All the links to all of our social media and our website uh, can be found below. Go by the contact form on our website, fill out all the details and everything we require, plus a message with all the bits about your project and what you'd like uh, and send that off and we'll come back to you as soon as possible while you're online drop by all our social media instagram twitter facebook give us a follow and a like we really appreciate it and as always please like please comment and please subscribe to us here on youtube because we're going to update loads and loads of videos uh, with new projects that are coming up over the next couple of weeks so thanks again guys and we'll see you on the next one take care